Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and the topic of today's video is to create your own custom splash form so that you can go from the access splash screen like this you can get rid of that and go to something that suits your own purposes for example a splash form this kind which includes the author, the company, web page and you can run some code in the background as well if you wish it to do so so let me show you how that's done now in order to create your own splash form, the first thing you need to do is to get rid of the access one. You don't want both of them. So to hide that, you need to right click in the folder where your database app is stored and click new bitmap image. And what you're going to do is create a bitmap image with the same name as your database. So if it's test.accdb, you call it test.bmp. Now that will show instead of the access splash screen. But you don't actually want to see it, so you're going to then reduce the size of that as much as possible. So right click on the file, click edit, open it in MS Paint and reduce it down to the minimum size possible. One pixel by one pixel. And once you've done that, you create your own splash form. Make the design of that how you like, but you should make it a pop-up form and I suggest it looks better if it's borderless and centered on the screen. You need to then set it as your startup form to include any information that you want to have on that form for example application info and you can run some startup code in the background so it's actually completed before the main form opens optionally and something I like to do I have this floating on the desktop in other words I hide the access application window while the splash form is there and once you've actually done what you want to with that form, let it run for a few seconds then, you need to close it automatically. You can do that with a timer event or you can use something like the sleep API code, which I prefer to use. And at the same time, you'll open your main form. You can add another fancy effect if you wish to there. The example is to fade out the splash form. Let me show you this in practice. The folder contains just two items, the database itself, custom splash form, and then a bitmap image which is one pixel by one pixel, as you can see in the pop-up there, okay, with exactly the same name. Now, if I clicked on that, you wouldn't see anything, it'd be so small. So if we now just move this down, now I'll click on the database, you see a brief flash there, while well, the application window does briefly appear. Unfortunately, there's a side effect that's difficult to get rid of. A splash form appeared, lasted for two or three seconds, and then disappeared, and then the main opens. Let me show you this from the app here. Open again, you can see the splash form there, it's the information, and you can see dots appearing there showing something is happening and then this appears here. But the thing that you can't completely get rid of, let me just show you that again with this method is that brief flash where the application window appears. That's something you may or may not be happy with. If you don't like that you can just choose not to hide the application window, just open it directly like this or there are alternative methods that you can use. I'm going to show you two other methods. First method you may say why bother with the small bitmap image in a splash form why don't you just use an image that looks like your splash form but as a bitmap image itself. Well you can do that. So you rename the image to map the database name as before, save it in the same folder as the app in place of your old one pixel or one pixel image but this time you make it it's real size you want to see this and so the image will appear very briefly when the app starts and now let's show you that and in this particular folder then we've got just two items here a different version of the application here and the splash form saved with the same name and that's the real size you can, you'll recognize it from the previous one here so when we open that then, the idea is that instead of the access splash screen, this will appear and will be big enough for you to see. Bring that down and close that one. Very smooth. No application window flashing, but the problem with that is the speed that that appeared at and disappeared within half a second. And I've not found a successful way of managing to slow down time that is on the screen and therefore it's not a method I use but you may choose to do so yourself. And let me show you now the third method and this time we're going to use a starter app. And what we do here is we put our splash form in a separate application which contains nothing but the splash form. We close it after a few seconds and we open the main app as before. 
But if we do this, let me show you the difference. Now this time the folder contains a starter app, the main app with the main form and anything else that you want to have in there. Each one of those apps needs its own one pixel by one pixel bitmap image. And what I didn't put in the PowerPoint, you need to actually run this minimize with a desktop shortcut. Let me show you that properties and you can see here then run minimize the three options normal window the default minimize or maximize i want it minimize and that will prevent the access application window appearing as you saw this time no flash it just goes straight on the screen there disappears and the main one opens let me show you that again click in desktop shortcut flash form appears fades out after a few seconds and in comes the main form and you can change the timing to reduce the amount of time between the two things happening there okay that's all I'm actually going to show you today if you're interested in following those up then go to my website isleofdogs.co.uk custom splash form and if I just click on that page there and you'll see the various items that I shown you earlier. What I didn't show you before was the code used on the splash form. Let me just show you that now. When the splash form loads, then it restores it back to its normal position there. And optionally, you can hide the application window. The code for that is described elsewhere on the page. Then set various captions. I use captions rather than text boxes for this. So if you get the version info, the author, the company, the website, you can put any information you like there. And I could run some code in the background, but all I'm actually doing here is just doing a message here which changes every half a second. So it starts off loading application, and then every half second, I'm using sleep API code, but you could use a timer event. Every half second, then it adds a dot to the end, so you get an appearance then that something is happening. And as I say, in the background, I could be running some code. Once that's completed, then I fade out the form, I close the start of the splash form, and I open the main form. And one more thing, then with any of these, if you wish to do so, particularly perhaps during development, there is a way of closing the splash form and closing the application. Let me just show you that. It doesn't matter which of these I use, it's exactly the same in each case. And if I double click on the image there, it closes immediately. You might find that useful when you're working on this. Okay. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, as always, please add a like and leave a comment. Do subscribe and then you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. And finally, I'd be very grateful for any topics for future videos in this series. Hopefully, see you soon.